So, what are the candidates' views on downgrading of on the downgrading of South End A and E, and the distribution of health services across South End, Basildon, and Broomfield? Yeah. Rayleigh and Wickford are communities in their own right, and there are many other communities in this constituency as well. And we've seen some expansion in health capacity in Rayleigh when a few years ago there was an expansion of the surgery at Aldi Mills, which is something I was quite involved in. And also there's a new health centre which is just about to open in Wickford. It opens in July. It, yeah, but, it, it, but actually, it, yeah, no, but it's going to be a larger building with more capacity in it. That's what's important about it. Yes, it is. No, I've been there and seen it. I'm not. I'm not. It. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You've made your point. Right. So there's going to be a brand spanking new 21st century health facility in Wickford. Right. With regard to the hospitals, there is a proposal for greater specialisation between the three. So, well, I'm going to come on to that. I'm, I'm going to come on to that, but I'm going to get there. There's a process of specialisation which is underway. So, for instance, Southend will specialise in cancer, Battenham will specialise in heart and cardiothoracic, Broomfield will specialise in burns and similar related conditions. The most controversial part of the specialisation is A&E. And there's a, there's a debate about what time it would take people to get by ambulance along the A127. I've had meetings about this with ministers, I've had meetings about this with health officials and people from the hospitals. We need to be sure that this is the right thing to do if we're going to go ahead with it. At the moment, if you have a heart attack in the South End, in most cases, you would still be blue lighted to Basildon because that's where the cardiothoracic expertise is. No, that's no, wrong. No, that's wrong. You would. No. That's you, wrong. Thank you, that's enough. That's enough, thank you. If you, were to suffer, if you were to suffer a bad burn, I said in most cases, I didn't say in all cases. No, not in 1% of cases. No, because they've been doing it that way to Basildon for a long period of time. Yeah, I'm not lying. Please, no, give, not. please give the speakers a chance to say their bit. You, the audience, the voters, can then make up your mind the bit, that has not, the bit that has not been proved about this proposal, and where I've been asking questions, is what is the capacity of the East of England Ambulance Service to deal with this model? Because if you think, because, hang on, because if you think about it, the EEAS is already under pressure. I know that as a constituency MP. I've been out with ambulance crews before and see what they have to do. So would this model require more ambulance runs? Yes, it probably would do. And if you're going to have more of those runs, where are the resources going to come from in terms of the ambulances that you need to use? That, to my mind, is part of where the questions need to be asked. And if I'm re-elected, I will go on asking questions. And if I come to the conclusion that this is not safe, I won't support it. Jeff. 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 Uh, Mark, I did ask you at, right at the beginning uh, of, my, of my little speech there, have you signed... No. Thank you. Okay, thank you. That answers the question, I believe. Thank you. Briefly, yes. Would you... Would you you're going to say more than one or two words. No, can, can you use a microphone, please, so everyone can hear?
once stabilised at South End, because you have to be able to get that patient within 45 minutes to a major trauma centre, which is either London or Cambridge. If you can't do that within 45 minutes, you go to your local nearest a &E to be um, stabilised before you move on. Not all heart attacks go to the cardiothoracic centre. ST elevation do. If you don't meet, they're very fine. Yeah, I, I think we've got you the gist of it. Thank you. Right. Major trauma does not go straight I think this is becoming a long speech. Uh, <laughs>